Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel and happy Thirsty Thursdays. I'm so excited. I have two special guests with me. One of them is the one, the only, the real 50 centavos. Hola. Hello. Welcome to Thirsty Thursdays. Yes, yes, I'm happy to be here. And my other special guest today is Bud Light's Out of the Office Limited Edition Hard Seltzer. So I did a review on the regular seltzer, but these are limited edition. I think they're more like a cocktail kind of vibe kind of thing yeah hence the names yes i do have to say that the designs on the box and the cans are like a summertime vibe so i really appreciate that the aesthetically they're really nice looking not summertime sadness no 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 definitely summertime not sad happiness yes yes it can. it's a it's, it's it's a whole vibe uh that bud light put together like have you ever had any of these i have had many alcoholic beverages in my day. No, um, I believe it. <laughs> uh, however, the primary one is my go-to, I guess. It's probably going to be a little White Claw action. Mm -hmm. An oldie but goodie. I guess not necessarily oldie but goodie, but you know. Um, but uh, yeah, definitely the natural lights I've had, the Bud Lights I've had. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I'm, I'm intrigued to see these, these new flavors for sure. Yes. So these come in uh, 12 packs. They come in 12 fluid ounces and you get four different flavors in them. Oh, and they all have 5% uh, alcohol in them. So, Bummer. Mm, yeah, right? <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> the flavors you get in this 12 pack are uh, strawberry daiquiri, classic lime margarita, watermelon mojito, and mango mai tai. Mai tai. Hopefully we like at least one of these out of all I'm four sure. of them. Because the watermelon be mojito, waste. see, I feel like I'm gonna like, I don't know, I could be wrong though. Um, my taste buds lean more towards the classic lime margarita, word. so I think I'm gonna like that the best. Word, word, word. So, I would hope we like all four of them. I mean, that would be a good thing. Right. I mean, you know, we'll see. So I'm excited to try these. It's gonna be like, we're gonna try them and we're gonna be on vacation somewhere. Word. Like on a fucking beach. Alright, we're gonna man- it's 2021, baby. It's all about manifestation. Mm -hmm. uh, the vibe you're mm -hmm. giving out for 2021. You ready to get this party started? Let's do it. Alright, so it let's today. get this party started. So let's go ahead and start with the strawberry daiquiri. So, merci. I mean, thank you in French. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh shit, they're colored. <laughs> wow, I've always wanted uh, a fucking colored seltzer. I'm so excited about that. There's something about like eating and drinking colors that I like. I don't know why. So, cheers. Salut. Okay. It's not, it's not terrible. It's not terrible at all. It's like, it's very refreshing. Like, honestly, like, I'm just gonna get my, my love taste, cause, what the fuck not, right? Get his mouth? Mm -mm. No? Okay, mm -mm. let me see. It's refreshing for me. See, I'm not a daiquiri fan in general, but I get like that manilin quality, I guess. I am not too sure about that. It has like this floral taste to it. It smells more like a strawberry daiquiri than it tastes like one. It is refreshing though. Like Johnny said, it really is refreshing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like like it, for me, like I would like drink this like, let's say like, you know, you're at a backyard barbecue, COVID safe. If I had brought a 12 pack of White Claw with me and I had drank them all, because uh, I've done it before. Mm -hmm. um, this, and if this was like at the bottom of the barrel, then yeah. The aftertaste is a little weird. It is refreshing. It's like a the seltzer part is refreshing, but that aftertaste is kind of weird. Hi, Rogue. That's what that's what I'm talking about. But like like the vanilla quality to it. Like mm -hmm. for me, like that's where that daiquiri kind of flavor comes in. I mean, I could be like just talking nonsense out of my ass about the vanilla part, but that's where like I get. Oh. So do you like that? No. <laughs> <laughs> I would give this a two and a half. I'm gonna go with a one. Shall we try the uh, classic lime margarita? Yes. Okay. Okay, I don't wanna be presumptuous, but I have a feeling like I'm not gonna like this one already just because I don't like synthetically lime flavored things. That's if that kind of makes sense. That's fair enough. It smells like a lime. It, it does smell like a margarita. It smells like like that whole yeah. huevo, like that mix. True. Yeah, no, I, yeah. Mm -mm. It reminds me of Topo Chico. Mm -hmm. 
like a stronger flavored Topo Chico. It reminds me, you remember like that that shit that we would get like in fucking elementary school, like the fucking like the Lucas, but like the lime green ones. Mm-hmm. That was just pure like fucking sal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's exactly what this fucking is. I actually like this one. I don't like it. No? Mm-mm. Her taste buds are totally different. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I like that. It's nice. It's got a. It's still refreshing. I mean, all if you think about it, all seltzers are kind of like a refreshing kind of thing. But this one has a really strong lime flavor in it. I wouldn't say it tastes like a margarita, mm-hmm. but it has that lime. It's a real strong it lime tastes, flavor. Yeah, it tastes like a flavored lemon lime topo chico. I like that. I'm gonna go ahead and give that a four. Oh, a four. Mm-hmm. Ay, ay, ay. Uh, one for me. Mm, wow. I didn't even finish it. Look, I did not even finish it. I'm gonna get the shit. I'm a lush. I'll finish this one. <laughs> so we're gonna try the watermelon mojito. Okay. I'm very excited about this one. I am a watermelon themed. A little secret about me. That's not a secret because I mean I have none practically at this day and age. You know, like they people talk about like hangover food. Like oh, like I have like a coke the next morning or like mm-hmm. noodle or like whatever the fuck your hangover food is your remedy mm-hmm. is. Um, mine is like actually like watermelon because it's so fucking refreshing. Because nine times out of ten for me, like when I wake up hungover as fuck, I'm dehydrated as fuck, Mm -hmm. and like I just want like a big ass fucking gallon of water. Mm -hmm. But like I just take a little, go to my fridge, especially if there's watermelon in the summertime. Mm -hmm. Woo wee! Mm -hmm. I'll definitely cure that summertime sadness, baby. Ooh, it smells like mint. Yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. It actually does smell like a mojito. Mm hmm. Cheers. Salud. Prost. Oh! I'm surprised about that. Oh! Mm-hmm. Oh! That's, that's good. Oh! That's real good. Mm-hmm. You can taste the mint and you can taste the watermelon. It's like the perfect combination of flavors in them. But yeah, that's really good. That's good. That's impressive. Mm-hmm. That is really a five for me. Yeah, that's impressive. Yeah, I like that. I'm gonna finish this. Okay. <laughs> well, go ahead then. Shit. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of mojitos, but this is actually really good. Like the combination of the yeah. mixture of the watermelon and the mint in there, it's really it, crazy it's, considering it, it, you, uh, it's a seltzer. You kids, it's the, uh, it's the mint for me. You know, when I wait tables out in humid ass New York City. Shout out Bushwick, shout out Brooklyn. One of like, in the summer, you know, like we had a we had patio service mm-hmm. and like hot ass fucking days because mine gets humid as fuck in the city. Like it could be like 80 degrees, but humidity percentage of like 98%. So like you walk outside and it's just a fucking sauna where you walk outside and you just sweat, no? Right. But like one of my favorite things to do like when I was at work was to get myself my little to-go cup, my little lid, mm-hmm. little seltzer water, mm-hmm. throw a little bit of mint, mm-hmm. cucumber, and lemon in it when oh, it was in wow. season. Yeah, Girl, bitch. you talk about a little, little trickety treat treat. Bitch is fancy. Fancy it's as fuck, fancy mama. Mama. Motherfucker. I'm gonna go ahead with the four. Four? Mm-hmm. Wait, what did you rate this one? A four. Okay, all right. Mm-hmm. All right, all right. This is oh, a tasty, man. tasty yeah. beverage, but like, mm-hmm. god damn it, but like, you've done it again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's not bad at all. No, well, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this one. You might as well. Okay, next and last, but certainly maybe or may not be the least Mango Mai Tai. What's in a mai tai? You know, you know how to make one. Is it rum? I have no fucking idea. I think it's rum. I, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. It's probably my and then the pie. Yeah, toast. Oh, this wait, is, this one's pink. This is pink, <laughs> and this is a mango flavor. It's like my colors are blush and bashful. <laughs> my colors are pink and pink. Okay. What do you pick up? Pineapple. It's supposed to be mango, right? Yeah, mango. Oh, well then, okay, then that's... <laughs> then, yeah, mango. I don't, really, I don't really get the mango scent. You I really? get fruity, but, like, it's not mango for me. It's pineapple. That tastes like something. Mai Tai? <laughs> I don't know. Mango I don't... Mai Tai. It tastes like, it tastes like, like... Uh... Have you ever had, like, an actual uh, Mai Tai cocktail? No. Cock. Tell. So what do you think? Uh, I don't know. It tastes like it tastes like it tastes like mango water. Then I'll give this I'll give this a four. I do taste the mango in in the drink. I like, taste the mango gin. You can it smells like pineapple, but it tastes like a mango. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a three as well. I don't hate it, but I don't really love it like the mojito or the classic margarita for me. Mm-hmm. But um, it has a really strong mango scent, uh, flavor to it, but. 
I don't know. I mean, it's not bad. It's not watered down like the strawberry daiquiri. It's not bad, but it's not like, yeah. Uh -uh, it's, it's not, not like not. the best thing right, in the world. Right, 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 right. I'm the best thing in the world. Mm-hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, you are your first. I think my favorite out of all these four is probably that watermelon mojito. I agree. That's what takes it for me, too. Mm-hmm. And then it's probably going to be the uh, classic lime margarita. Mm -hmm. And then maybe the mango mai tai. And then the strawberry Gross. daiquiri is probably last because that one just had a weird ass floral flower rose flavor to me. Mm -hmm. For me, it's the watermelon mojito. I guess ma mango mai tai would take silver. Strawberry takes the bronze. And yeah, you know how I feel about it. The lime. The artificial lime flavor is not Johnny's thing. Mm -hmm. That is not the business for Johnny. No, not at all. Not the tea. Mm -mm. Mm. But I want to thank you guys for joining us for this Thirsty Thursday. I want to thank the real Cincuenta Centavos for joining us on this Thirsty Thursday. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for uh, trying some new drinks with us. Be sure to check out other Thirsty Thursday videos and random videos on my channel. If you guys have any suggestions, uh, be sure to comment below. You know, let us know what you think. Let us know what you think we should try next. If you hate him, Comment below. <laughs> uh, give us a thumbs up. Comment down below. And we'll catch you on the next one.